this video exercise, we will run a molecular dynamic simulation on the 1MK5 streptavidin biotin system that we prepared in a previous video exercise. Now before we proceed, we can find more details about Desmond molecular dynamics, including specific details on many of the advanced settings in the Desmond user manual. Just head up to Help, Manual Index, Desmond user manual. Note that there is also quick start guides and tutorials, including some written by DE Shaw Research. So let's begin. Here we have the prepared system of 1MK5 generated earlier. So now let's launch Desmond's molecular dynamics panel. Just go to Applications, Desmond, Molecular Dynamics. Or if you're in the task view mode, just go to Tasks, Molecular Dynamics, Molecular Dynamics. Or search for Molecular Dynamics in the task tree. Once the panel is open, click Load to load the system from the workspace. If your system is not preloaded in the workspace, you can select Import from File and then choose the .cms file. So here we have the basic settings for running molecular dynamics. Under the simulations options, we have the simulation time, simulation intervals, i.e. time intervals by which different energy terms are recorded and trajectory snapshots are saved and a selection of ensemble classes. For our simulation, we'll run it for 50 nanoseconds and then double the recording interval for the trajectory to 9.6. Now, this simulation can be considered lengthy compared to the 1.2 nanosecond simulation default, but this depends of course on the CPU or GPU speed and the number of CPUs or GPUs used. And keep in mind that if you are using the GPU accelerated version of Desmond, then you should experience approximately 60 to 80 times greater speed than the CPU version. So if you're following along this exercise and don't intend on running the simulation on multiple fast CPUs or a GPU, then you may want to revert to the default settings for a shorter simulation just to get an overall feel on how to run a molecular dynamics job. Down here, we can relax the model system before simulation, which we will ensure is checked. By doing so, we'll be using the default protocol, which includes a series of predefined minimization and molecular dynamics executions to relax the system before the production simulation starts. Or you can browse and import your own relaxation protocol. Now, the stage-wise relaxation equilibration tasks can be defined in a so-called multisim script file, which allows for running multiple simulations. The syntax for the multisim file, also known as a .msj file, is documented in the Schrodinger Desmond user manual. But here, you can quickly see what the contents of the default.msj file should look like. This contains the default relaxation protocol. As we scroll down, notice here we have our first minimization stage, where there are restraints on the solute, followed by another minimization stage, without any restraints at all. Then there is a simulation stage, using NVT, at 10 Kelvin, for only 12 picoseconds and with restraints on the solute heavy atoms. So as you can see, the default relaxation protocol is fairly extensive and you are free to manually edit this .msj file beforehand to modify or introduce additional relaxation stages. Here we have the advanced options. Options in the integration tab for the MD tasks include the multiple time step, respite schedule and constraints. Under the ensemble tab, we have the thermostat and the barostat parameters. Under interaction, we have the parameters for computing non-bonded interactions. Under restraint, we have a table in which multiple sets of atoms can be subjected to harmonic restraints with a user-defined force constant. Atom selection can be directly inputted as an ASL expression, or you can click select to bring up the atom selection dialog box. Under output, we have the names of various Desmond output files and places for you to specify how often these files are updated during the simulation. For example, different energy terms are recorded in the energy sequence file in user-defined intervals, snapshots of the simulation are periodically saved in the trajectory file, and the entire simulation state is also saved at user-defined intervals in a checkpoint file. Desmond simulations can be restarted from these checkpoint files with bitwise accuracy. The glue option here is very useful. With this option set, the Desmond trajectory file will be constructed in such a way that receptor ligand complexes or DNA strands or any other multi-molecule structure always stays together for visualization purposes, even if their primary images separate due to the periodic boundary conditions. 
Finally, in the miscellaneous tab, we have options for randomizing velocities. Now, if you want to gain more understanding about all of these advanced MD settings, please again refer to the Desmond user manual. In our example, we'll just use the defaults. Now we're ready to submit the job, but before we click run, we'll open the job settings panel, rename the job, and then choose a non-Windows host. I'm in Windows here, so I'll submit this to a remote Linux workstation. Now that machine has four CPU cores and a couple of suitable graphics processors, which I will select. Again, this is to take advantage of the 60 to 80 times speed up on GPUs. I can either automatically select the GPUs or select them manually. Now more details about the requirements for graphics processors can be found in the Schrodinger installation guide. Okay, when ready, we'll click run. This job shouldn't take more than a day to complete using the GPUs. So check back in our follow-up video where we'll go through the molecular dynamics results in detail.